Hello, welcome to my tutorial for my London Landmark mug rug. Um, I'm going to start by showing you what we need to have. Um, we need to have a fabric for the front piece and then we need two pieces of fabric for the back which will be placed on top of the front fabric at the end. Um, I've also folded both pieces over uh, by about half an inch or so and press them and on one piece I've run the length nearly um, just missing by a little bit at the end with a uh, steamer seam you can use Wonderwear but, or anything else you'd like alternatively you can leave it till the end and use a fabric glue such as Gutterman's HT2 um, or the E6000 glue um, or you can slip stitch and sew it uh, or leave it, empty, leave it open I mean I've been sent mug rugs from friends and they've left them open and I've had no trouble with them at all they've washed and everything fine so you can you can actually leave it open if you wish to um, so they're the fabrics that I'm using and then I've got my batting I like to use warm and natural you can use what you choose you can use fusible fleece felt uh, whatever you choose to use um, and I've got two pieces the reason being is I always find it just a little bit thin um, I'm, I, here's one I made earlier and it's, it just feels a bit too thin for my liking so um, I start off by using one piece of the batting and then towards the end just before I put the top pieces on or the backing on as such I then add another piece of batting to the back of my hoop underneath um, just to give it that added uh, thickness that I like um, and I also I've got some uh, cutaway a woven cutaway in my hoop which I have steam ironed to make sure that it's just shrunk that little bit because if I don't, with the fabric having been pre-shrunk, um, when I wash it for the first time, the fabric won't shrink, but the cutaway will, and it will just pull it in and pucker it and, and so on. It won't be very nice. So do make sure if you're using a woven cutaway that you steam iron it to pre-shrink it. It doesn't shrink by much, but it, it does shrink a little. Um, so I think that's it for the, for the pieces that I've told you about. So we'll start um, by stitching the placement line. Okay, so that's the placement line stitched. I'm just going to remove from the hoop and I'm just going to spray the cutaway with a, a small amount of a temporary spray adhesive. I like to use 505 ODIF 505 because it doesn't gum up the needle and it's really quite strong um, and holds well. So I've sprayed with temporary spray adhesive and I've just laid the first piece of batting down and I don't know if you can see on the back there the only place I've gone over really is the, the top um, which I'll trim later on so that's that piece done then I'm going to spray again and this time it's for the fabric so I get the main piece of fabric and fold it in half lengthways and take it to the hoop meet the joins in the, the lines in the middle of the hoop And press that down. Okay, I've put uh, it back on the hoop. Uh, sorry, put the hoop back on the machine. And now I'm just going to do the tack down stitches to keep the fabric and batting in place.
it's time to stitch the lettering now so um, I'm going to start with my first colour and so that you're not sat there bored watching the machine uh, churn away I will come back when I've stitched all the, the landmark names Okay, all the names are stitched out and before you stitch the uh, cross stitch, the, the lattice stitching, just go round and snip any jump stitches. There shouldn't be too many but I'm not sure um, my machine cuts the jump uh, stitches um, and if your machine doesn't it, you may have more than I have. Um, I have tried to keep them to a minimum and I apologise if you have lots um, but hopefully you won't okay so they're done and now what we're going to do is stitch the lattice stitching um, which will go crisscross etc um, and I will return once that's finished Okay, the stitch work, uh, the lattice stitch work has finished. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see it just about. Um, I was, I forgot to say actually that if you don't want to stitch that, you can just skip the block. Don't um, stitch it. Just your machine or however you um, edit your designs, etc. Just um, skip past it. The same with this next block. That's the uh, ornamental edging. Um, if again you don't want to stitch this, you don't have to. It's not a crucial part of the, of the pattern. Um, so it's up to you what you do. So we're just going to stitch this. And we'll be back shortly. Okay, the ornamental edging has finished. You see it there in the darker pink. Um, and now what we need to do, I, because I'm adding an extra layer of batting, um, you might want to use felt or, or something else. Um, I'm turning my hoop over and taking it away from the machine. I'm just going to quickly spray it with a bit of spray adhesive. Oops, got the hoop. And then just lay my piece of batting on the back and then use some good old fashioned masking tapes which I tend to use on the corners now I used the wrong bits of batting <laughs> I um, I did this to fit exactly in the rectangle uh, for the top so that I wouldn't have to trim it later and then I did one slightly bigger so that when it when I do the stitches to stitch around it would um, go it would, sorry the stitches would be within the rectangle of the batting but I don't think it's going to be because I use that piece for the front so it's possible this might not catch in until uh, we fold it over but we shall see so I'm going to change threads okay I'm going to now st stitch the tack down stitches for the underneath piece of batting and we'll see if it catches in or not Now what we need to do is um, put the pieces of the front, of, sorry, the back pieces on. Now we've got the first piece we're putting down is the piece that has the uh, steamer seam on. So I'm just going to tear the paper off, if I can. <laughs> um, I don't want the paper to catch in with the stitching and then be difficult to remove. Okay, so I've removed it. 
and this is the side that you put on looking down at the design on the right hand side face down with the fold in the middle and you want to make sure that the fold goes well past the middle lines so that in fact the line of the fold the sort of outer edge is in line with um, the, the little pieces that you have in your hoop the little markers and oh I haven't threaded my needle and now we stitch this one down I expect you saw there as the machine came towards me I laid my scissors down this was to make sure that my foot which is quite low didn't catch the fabric and take it back um, don't do it with your fingers um, but you, you may need to do that if you have quite a low foot um, right so you put the next piece of fabric on again face down making sure that the the edge of the folded piece is in line with the uh, little markers on your hoop so you know that they're going to be part you know past halfway and then stitch again that's all the stitching completed and what I want to do now is first of all remove the masking tape that was holding the piece of batting on it's done its job most of it has now been caught in the stitches and the good thing is I don't have any excess to trim on the back um, so that's quite handy uh, so that and then we want to remove the design out of the hoop again I just um, need to take a quick photo for the video tutorial I'll multitask in here okay and now we need to trim all the way around uh, to about five millimeters around the edge, leave a five millimeter uh, edge. Oh goodness me! I just realised I'm doing it out of shot again. I'm not doing very well. Okay, so we've trimmed all the way around, and now I'm just going to trim the corners. This is to remove the bulky. Um, corners otherwise if you leave that on there then they're going to be like very bumpy corners um, again I'm sorry I just need to take a quick photograph and now we turn it make sure that you flatten that down inside that's the sticky edge so that will iron down nicely um, or you can glue it or slip stitch it or leave it open um, so I'm going to go and press it and come back in a moment okay well here we have a um, just quite a nice thickness because of the two layers of batting um, so if you make this please do share it in the group um, and I'll see you again. Take care. Happy stitching. Bye.